this is a kind of a side project that I'm working on right now. Um, something for my wife's Jeep. She has a Jeep Wrangler, and I'm gonna. I wanted to put these uh, lights on for her. This light bar I got on eBay. I think I paid like uh, sixty or seventy dollars for it, and um, I had actually bought a uh, roof rack for her. Um, and the um, mounts on it has four mounts on the top and they don't line up to these mounting points so I made a couple of these guys out of a 3 inch plate and these will just go on here and then I'll weld this to that um, roof rack that she has but I also want to make like a front mounted light bar for the front um, and I ordered these LED lights for her um, and I got three of them and um, I've already pre-bent this um, piece of pipe uh, which is just regular um, gas pipe that I got at Lowe's and I'm gonna put three of them kind of like this one here one there and one here and then I got to make the brackets that will attach to the back side of the the bumper. And uh, I just, to bend this, I just used my um, Harbor Freight bender that uh, I've, I don't know if you've seen my other videos, but I've, I used it to make my drift trikes. And it wasn't too bad, you know, I just kind of matched up the bends on here. Um, and they came out pretty close so um, the next thing I gotta do is cut out some tabs out of um, <coughs> this metal right here and um, weld them on I just wanted to see where how long the lights were so I could um, make cut the tabs which are only gonna be like two three inches wide anyways So I cut out these tabs um, out of uh, that plate that I had, that 3 sixteenths. I welded them in and um, basically this is the uh, back of the, of the bar and it will be kind of mounted like this if I can get it on there. Alright, so it's on there. It'll kind of be mounted like this on the Jeep. And there'll be a bracket that goes down here, attached, welded on, and then run behind the back of the bumper. And there's two bolts that kind of go down here. Um, it'll bolt on through the back and then be attached there. And I have these LEDs that will be kind of mounted like that. There'll be three of them, of course. One there, one there, one here. And then I gotta clean up some of the welds and um, strip it and then paint it. I'm gonna do a wrinkle black to match the uh, bar that she has on her, on her Jeep right now. And uh, I might trim these down a little bit more because the, it kinda, they're kind of big, I don't know, but uh, we'll see after I mount them, drill the holes for the, if you could even see them after I put the lights on. If, if you can't even see them, then it doesn't matter. So that's where I'm at now on this. So I, what I did was I cut out a piece of uh, sheet metal that I had, and um, it already had this bend in it, which I wanted, and I drilled some or cut some holes out and then use these dimple dies that I made on my lathe put them on the press and um, made these dimples on there and this is basically going to be a um, piece that will sit on the front right here like it'll kind of be welded in place right here um, so first of all give it some rigidity um, 
in the side to side motion and it'll give it some strength uh, as far as uh, uh, in case you know any brush got any brush or anything would hit the front it'll deflect off the front um, plus it makes it look a little nicer a little bit more finished so just weld that on the um, the base of the uh, light bar or mount I welded on already and I've primered it and drilled the holes for the lights so next step is the paint so here is the the light mount itself that is done I primered it with an etching a self etching primer and then a couple of coats of this uh, high temp wrinkle plus paint and um, it's fully dried now I did mount the the lights already and I'm probably going to drill a hole on either side of the lights so I can run all the wiring through here um, drill another hole so here are the brackets for the um, for the light bar this one's already done um, I took some measurements on the inside of the, the bumper and uh, these basically right here are the mounting bolts and then this is the uh, bumper support and I measured 32 and 3 quarters in between on each side and then one and a quarter to the center of the bolt from the edge of the bumper support so that's how I got all my measurements on how long they needed to be from here to here I had already measured that um, right here five and three eighths to this point and the height in between the bumper and the bolts was uh, four and a half and in between center on on center for the bolts was two and a half and that's what I come up with here and this one I just finished too it's uh, just drilled all the holes I just need to prepare it and weld it and basically this will go <sighs> here's the light bar and I got some stainless steel bolts and this will mount to the bumper on the front and then that'll mount onto there just like that and got that one done on the other side and that's and I sh I guess next thing I'll do is mount it up see if it fits right because I haven't actually been doing this on the vehicle because my wife uses it for her job or for work and so I just kind of get measurements and see if it works hopefully it does so here it is installed I had to trim the um, inside of that bracket just a little bit to clear that little bump that's in there and I used some um, stainless steel bolts to hold it together pretty solid It's actually a really nice looking piece. I had installed the um, the the light bar up on top, and I had to put these um, these brackets on here because it's uh it, they didn't line up with any other ones. Um, I also had installed this roll bar for my wife because she carries ladders and stuff like that for her job. Um, only thing I need to do is get her to wash it once in a while, but uh, I got a couple other things that I want to do to it, and that's, um, change out the wheels and tires, maybe, um, I'm not sure if I want to put a lift kit on it, because she can, she's a little shorty and can't get in there, uh, to be, to begin with, she has a little bit of trouble, and, uh, I'm probably going to get a different front front bumper steel one as well as the rear bumper 
and I'm thinking of getting some fender flares, some different ones. Probably leave these um, side steps. And other than that, um, I think that's about it. But I still got to hook up all the lighting, all the wiring and everything. I got relays and switches and everything, so I'll put those up. One for the front three and then one for the light bar up on top. So everything is uh, fabricated in by myself and it came out pretty good. It does still have room for cooling um, even with these holes that I put in here will help. So it's not going to block the radiator completely. We still got room underneath. You can see. And there it is. Thanks for watching.